Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I decided to do something different with the intro of the video. I wanted to do a small little vlog to show you all how I set up for filming um, a nail tutorial. So there you just see me grabbing um, some items from my nail desk. Um, the first thing I grabbed was like these two drawers that has like my utensils that I use all the time. That second tray that you saw is just like my top coats and things like that. Um, I have this little dish that I put alcohol in. I got my little dust brush, my crusty, dusty buffer, y'all. I don't know why I won't throw that away, but it's there. And then I also um, am getting like my manicure brushes. Those are good, especially since I'm doing dip powder application. I'm getting some lint-free wipes and some cotton rounds. Um, and then you'll also see me shortly grab my, um, cupcake liners. I like to use this to catch all of the powder, um, so that it doesn't make a huge mess. I'm grabbing my charms. Y'all know I like to add a little bit of charmtivity. And then the last thing I got is tips here. So this is what it looks like when I'm getting ready to film. Um, and then I keep everything that I'm going to talk about off to the side here. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. I just wanted to try something a little bit new with the intro. All right, you guys, here we are. So this is actually what you all see as I am filming. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that little sneak peek behind the scenes of how I get things set up because, um, yeah, I have been wanting to do that for a really long time. So here we are. Um, so yeah, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing a Jellin dip powder kit. Um, Jellin was also kind enough to actually send me this kit for review. I am super excited to unbox this and to see what is all included. But can we get a moment for the packaging though? Like this is really beautiful packaging. Like you all see the beautiful little floral design here. I feel like Jellin always has like really cute like packaging when it comes to their items. So yeah, really loving this. But it is a six on the back it just says nail art. But yeah, this is a, a six color dip powder set. Um, each uh, jar is 15 grams. So let me go ahead and get this um, box with you all. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay. All right, so this is what comes in the kit here. So as you all can see, we get a couple of different goodies here. At the bottom here, I'll go ahead and start with this. You do get a 100, 180 foam um, file. It says it's washable and um, disinfectable, so you get that with the kit. Um, you also get, it looks like you all get your dip powder brush, which is always good to have. So this is what you'll use to, to dust off your dip powder. Um, you, you also get all four dip liquids that you need. So the first dip liquid here is the number one, which is the base coat. Okay. These are cute little bottles here. And these are 15 ml bottles. Okay, so this is the, the dip base coat. This is the number two, the dip activator. Okay, this is number three, which is the dip top coat. Okay, and then you also get number four, which is the dip brush saver, which I believe is just like acetone in a bottle. Okay, so those are the four dip liquids you get. And then, Let's take a look at these colors, you guys. I'm really excited about this. Mm, okay. So they did let me let me pick out my set. I decided to pick some spring colors because it is springtime. So I wanted to do a nice, cute spring set. So first off, this packaging is really beautiful. I like that silver lid, but this is what the first color is looking like. Looks like it's a nice, soft pink. That's what the lid looks like. And again, it is a 15 gram container. So let's see what this color is looking like. DP191. Okay. DP377. DP1120. So this is just a really beautiful spring collection. We have DP221. Then the last color we have here was this really pretty blue, which is 479. Okay. And that's what this looks like. I'm definitely incorporating this into the set. This is really pretty. All right, so these are all the colors. What I am gonna do is go ahead and get them all swatched for you guys, and then I will be right back. So I have all of the colors swatched out here. So I'm gonna go through and show you again what they are. 
So again, this is the uh, DP27 uh, color. So this is what that looks like. This is a really beautiful, nice pink color here. And then this is what the back looks like. So that's what it would look like if it was matte. But yeah, this color is really cute. Um, this here is the DP191. So that's that like kind of soft lavender color. That's what this looks like. Really beautiful. Like that a lot. Just a nice purpley lavender color here. And then I also have the DP377. That's what this is looking like. This is just a nice soft baby pink color. Okay, so this is what that looks like swashed. That's what it would look like matte. Really pretty color as well. We have a nice soft yellow color here. This is DP1120. That's what that looks like in the container. And this is what it looks like swatched, okay? Nice soft yellow, really beautiful spring kind of pastel colors here. Then we also have the DP221, okay? That's really like a nice little baby blue color here. Okay, so that's what that's looking like. Really pretty, okay? Everything is very soft here, really loving it. And then we also have the DP four seven, yeah, four DP four seven nine, and this is kind of like a turquoise kind of blue. This is probably my favorite color out of the collection, um, and this is what it's looking like here, swashed. I really really like this blue a lot. Um, it's kind of like a jelly turquoise blue. So yeah, this is the entire collection here. So my inspiration for this set, right? A few weeks ago, me and my daughter came down with the flu really bad, like. My daughter, her temperature got up to like 102.4 and her body was like extremely hot and we had to go to the ER and they actually kept her there for um, five hours until her body temperature went back down. We found out she had the flu and then I found out I also had the flu so me and my daughter were both sick with the flu and we were there for like I said five hours and while we were there we were sitting in the waiting room. It was 27 rooms total capacity for the ER and every single room was filled up so we were there for five hours waiting on her temperature to go down and then also waiting to be seen and then also waiting for her temperature to go down. While I'm there, something that helped calm me down was thinking about my nails. And so I actually took a picture of the floor in the ER. So I'm actually gonna insert a picture of what that floor looked like. I'm gonna insert two pictures actually. And so these are the different colors that were on the floor. And I thought it would be kind of cool to create a set that's inspired by that situation and then also that floor so that's what this set is gonna be but also I wanted to give a quick shout out to one of my nail sisters um, quick shout out to you just Nikki hey girl love you girl um, Nikki was kind enough to send me some different mylar flakes she had recently did a haul and baby she bought the whole store up okay and so she actually sent me some to try out in some of my nail looks and I'm actually gonna be incorporating some of those mylar flakes that she sent me into this look as well so there are a lot of different colors that were sent here she sent me some beautiful green mylar flakes some beautiful yellow mylar flakes I can't wait to put these to use y'all know yellow that's my favorite color she also sent some let's see these are like some darker green mylar flakes she sent some beautiful is this like crystal like I think this was called like crystal dust or angel dust or something but some beautiful like crystals and such so I'm gonna use that to sugar some nails at some point she sent me this beautiful hollow mylar beautiful purple here this lovely fire orange here this beautiful fun kind of fuchsia pink color more yellow yes actually I think these are two different yellows wow yeah one's more of a, a darker yellow and this one's more of a pastel yellow so this yellow will probably go good with this kit that I'm reviewing as well and then we have a cute kind of pink purplish mylar. And then in here, she sent me this beautiful kind of white iridescent mylar color. These beautiful blues. I'm surprised you sent me some blue, Nikki. I thought blue was out the equation. So thank you, girl. I definitely appreciate that. <laughs> I like this a lot. So this is a really pretty blue here. Y'all, blue is her favorite color. She like, loves blue, loves the cowboys and such. Okay, I think this is another one of these. So she sent me two of those, that's so sweet. And then this here is, I think, a combination of all of the Mylars mixed together. And so actually this here is the color that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna insert the picture of 
the the ER room floor again, the hospital floor again. So yeah, do you guys see the one that has like the multi colors in it? This kind of looks like the hospital floor. So I'm gonna incorporate this into the look, which I'm super excited about. Again, thank you so much, Nikki. Wanted to definitely give you a shout out um, for sending these over to me. And um, if you all have not checked out her channel, definitely do so. Um, she does some amazing content where she does dip powders, gel polish sets, and some dope hauls, y'all. Like she be coming through with the hauls. So yeah, definitely check her channel out. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description um, along with her Instagram page. So yeah, go over to her channel, show her some support. But yeah, y'all, let's get into this look, okay? I just applied some full cover tips off camera. These are my square full cover tips um, from Shein. Um, these are probably, these are kind of slowly becoming some of my favorite tips. I just applied some peel off base coats, my regular bell gel base coat to adhere the nails. That's been like my new favorite way to do it. So you guys, it's been a really long time since I use regular just dip liquids. I am normally someone who applies my dip powders using the gel method it just it's a quicker easier application for me but I want to make sure I use all the items in this kit and give my full thorough review on it so I'm gonna go through and use the liquids that was provided so first I'm going to go in with my base coat I do have um, my first powder already prepped and ready to go and then I also have my cupcake liners um, I'm going to do the pour over method. I know a lot of people like to just dip and actually these containers are big enough for me to dip straight into it, but I find that it's less messier for me. And then also, like I said, um, it, uh, it, it gives like more of a smoother application when I just pour over. So also again, I just want to give you all a close up of this dip liquid. So again, the strongest, the smell is kind of strong. It smells like really strong super glue and it's of a thicker consistency. If you all can see here on the brush. It's of a thicker consistency, so yeah. Um, I don't know that I have a preference when it comes to dip liquids because I've only really used like one, <laughs> so this is actually my second one. And so, yeah, I'm just going to apply a thin layer of the dip all over the nail and then let it dry, making sure not to hit the cuticle area or anything like that. So, yeah, I'm just going to apply a thin coat like so. Make sure it's a really thin layer, you guys. You don't want it to be too thick, because then you'll have to do more shaping and filing if it is. So I got my first layer. So I have my base coat on here. Next, I'm just gonna pour the powder over, okay? And just make sure to get the side walls and everything. And I'm gonna let it set on there and tap off. If there's any areas that look a little bit wet, Right, I'm gonna go through and just continue to pour over until it looks like it's soaked all the way in there. Okay, so that's my first one here. And also, I didn't even give a, a, a what I thought about these powders. They're really nice and finely milled, I like that. Okay, so that's my first layer here. And actually, for the second dip powder, I'm going to pour this back in here. Since I'm using four different colors, I actually, I'm going to test out dipping it, actually. I just changed my mind on the spot here. So I'm going to dip this one and see what that's like. Because I, like I said, I haven't done this in a while with using dip liquid. So I'm going to just go through and see if the coverage is a little bit fuller if I dip it. So we're going to try that out. It's been so long since I've done dip powders, you guys. Like... We'll use dip liquids. Okay. And with these dip liquids, I remember you have to work kind of quick. So I have it here, and then I'm going to just dip in at an angle, like so. And try to cover the full nail. Let it sit. And then tap off. Actually, that, that went on pretty good. I must have missed the spot over here, as you all can see. I missed the spot. But I am going to just. Um, dip it again at an angle okay and tap off so yeah I changed my mind I'm gonna go through and just do regular dip application I'm not gonna use my cupcake liners so scratch that I think it's gonna apply just as smooth so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that pink color on this nail here Again, you want to dip at an angle 
Make sure you fully cover the nail, like so. Tap off. And I'm gonna dip twice. Yeah, see, this is the issue with, with dipping for me. You see how it's wrinkling? So I didn't do that too well. I think I shook it too much. So when you dip, you just wanna go in at an angle and just let the powder kind of cover it. That's the thing with dip, you have to really get it right. That's why I normally like to do the pour over method, but we're gonna, we gonna continue with the regular dip application because I wanna get better with dip liquids, honestly, because it's been a while since I used them. So I'm gonna go in with the pinky here. I'm gonna hold this at an angle and then just dip straight in. That one was a little bit better. So make sure you just go at an angle and just go slow when you go in. Like so. And then I'm gonna tap off the excess. You see how that one's a lot better? So with this finger, when I was putting it in, I kind of shook it into there and I shouldn't have. So that's okay. We're gonna attempt to fix that with filing. And actually I'm glad it happened to this finger and not the other ones, because this is the one I'm gonna apply my Mylar Flakes to, so that's gonna be covered up anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead now, once you have all of that on, you'll take your dip powder brush and just dust off excess powder, like so. Yeah, dipping is really easy for someone who doesn't like dealing with like the smell of monomer and things like that. Dipping is just like a really nice, easy application. This was how I first got into doing my nails. Absolutely loved the dip powder application method because it just was so easy to do. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through and apply another layer of this beautiful turquoise kind of green color. You all see how it's kind of like a jelly color? I like that, I like that about this color, it's like jelly. Okay, so this is what they all look like after they've been dipped twice. Again, I need to try and fix this, this nail afterwards. So because I did this nail first, I know this one is done and ready to go. Okay, I really like this color, it's really pretty. Yeah, these are good, I like this. So this is what it's looking like here. So what I'm liking about this dip powder so far is that it's like a really thin formula. So it doesn't make the nail look too bulky, which I really like. So. I am going to go in with one more coat, one more layer, just because this is jelly and I don't want it to look too transparent. I'm going to go in with one more coat of all the dips, so it'll be three dips per nail except for this nail because this nail in particular I'm going to be adding Mylar to. Okay you guys, so this is what it is looking like so far. Okay, I went ahead and did my thumb off camera just to save a little bit of time, but I applied that yellow color. I am liking how this is looking so far. The only thing is, is I have to go through and try to fix this little situation that I have here. And so, you guys, I forgot to go over the instructions with you all. So this is their instructions of how to use it. So I did everything pretty much how they had it. You know, apply a thin base, with this one though, their powder dry, air dries in 10 seconds, which is, which is actually really fast, I feel like, for a dip powder. They say let air dry for 10 seconds and brush off excess powder. So, and then they say repeat the steps a few times. I did that already. I did three, three coats on every nail except for my ring finger. On my ring finger I did two. So now it's time to apply the activator. So they have this and like, with exclamation marks. It says just one layer. They say for the activator, just apply one layer. Normally when I do my activator, I actually go in with two layers just to make sure it gets dry, but they said just one layer. Then they said I can file after that and then do the activator one more time, just one layer, let air dry, and then the top gel I'm supposed to dry twice. I'm supposed to apply twice while air drying 10 seconds in between. So it seems like this system is really fast compared to some of the other dip powder systems I feel like I've seen. So 10 seconds is the, is the key here. I do have my, my number two, which is the dip activator. So I'm gonna go in with that. Just like they said, I'm gonna just do one layer, although I normally do two. And I'm gonna apply that all over the nails here. And the purpose of activator is to actually harden the nail. So you know when you're doing like gel polish application, 
um, in order to get the system to cure, you have to put it in a lamp. Um, with acrylics, in order to get the system to cure, you have to use monomer. So with this system, the activator is actually what causes the actual dip powder um, and the base to kind of cure together. So that's the purpose of that. I'm just applying a really generous one layer <laughs> to my nails here. And then um, I'm gonna go through and file shape and buff because yeah y'all I tried to do like a tapered square for this look but um, I think I kind of sort of got it maybe maybe not but that's the activator they say one layer I'm gonna wait 10 seconds here while I'm waiting on that I'm gonna go ahead and get my file so this is this is the file I'm gonna use to try and, and shape my nails into place I feel like this is a good one to use though because this has the rougher side and then this has the smoother side so I'm gonna use this to kind of get these little crinkles out of the nail and I'm gonna use this other side to kind of smooth it out so yeah and while that's waiting I am gonna go in with just like my regular nail file and just kind of crisping up my shape a little bit while that's drying so yeah I'm trying to get better at shaping and filing my nails you guys I said in a few videos back that's gonna be my new focus for the year so I'm gonna stop being lazy about shaping and filing and try to get these nails slayed okay okay it does feel like it hardened so that's pretty good and so now I'm gonna go in and try and fix this nail right here see if I can get it somewhat smooth this is the main one I'm worried about I really like that buffer that came I'm gonna go ahead and dust off the excess powder here yeah that's looking pretty good you see how it got it pretty much smooth I'm pretty satisfied with that you know Again, if it was going to be this nail, if I wasn't putting anything over it, I would go through and try to get it even more smooth. But for the mistake that I made, I think that this buffer did a really good job, especially the coarser side, did a really good job of smoothing that out. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to go in with the activator again and apply the second layer. Yeah, I think the 10 seconds is, is a good, it's a good rule here. I'm liking this system so far. So this is what it is looking after I filed shape buff and applied that second layer of activator. It's been well over um, 10 seconds, but yeah, y'all, I'm liking how this look. It's very springtime, you know? So next I am gonna go in with these beautiful Mylar flakes here. Again, I'm recreating that look, the, the floor of the hospital that we were at. And so these Mylar flakes are gonna be perfect for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open the bag here you don't need a lot when it comes to doing these mylar nails and then I have my saran wrap here because that makes life easier I do have my gel and mini LED lamp this came with their gel extension kit I actually really like this lamp a lot I use it very frequently um, so I want to leave that here and then I'm going to go in with a gel base coat I do have my gel and base coat that came in their poly gel kit and I'm going to use this to apply my um, my bar so I'm gonna go in with a thin layer of that base coat if I can get in frame for you all like so okay I'm gonna apply that all over the nail I'm gonna take a little bit of the base coat here from my nail and just take a couple of the flakes and just kind of place them all over the nail here Okay, so that's how this nail is looking. So that's how it's looking, right? So with Mylar nails, you guys, it's really important. What you wanna do is push everything in on the sides so that nothing is kinda hanging off the nail. So I'm gonna push all the Mylar in just to make sure nothing is hanging off of the nail, like so. So from here, I am going to take my Saran Wrap and I'm just gonna hold it down just like this, you guys. And then I'm gonna take my lamp, turn the light on, 
and cure it just like this, like so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the saran wrap here. Look at that, a nice flat nail. You guys see on the side here how nothing is sticking up off the nail? That is what you want when you're working with Mylar. That is beautiful. All right, I like how that turned out. That turned out absolutely stunning. Wow, look how cute that is. It kind of, it almost looks like a milk, doesn't this almost look like a milk bath nail? I really like that, that's pretty. Wow, okay, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I really like how this is turning out so far. So I was going to cure and encapsulate the nail, but because I don't need to really do any shaping or filing, I am going to go ahead and go in with the dip top coat. The top coat here to all the nails. Oops, looks like this popped off. Let's see if I can get this to... Okay. If I screw it back on, let me see if I can get it to come off. Okay, well that twisted off. I didn't know that. That's cool. Let's see if I'm looking at this. Okay, did that work? Okay, that works. So I just had to go in and tighten it. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a thin layer of the top on all the nails. And normally with the dip top, you'll wanna do a quick thin, quick strokes on all the nails first, and then go through with the second coat, and that's when you're gonna get your the one where it's like, wow, that's that's it, you know? Wow, that's a really beautiful. And you're supposed to wait 10 seconds and then go in with the next one. All right, you guys, so this is what we have so far. This top coat is actually really beautiful. I'm loving that a lot. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and let that air dry and I will be right back. Oh my gosh, like I am absolutely loving this Mylar nail. Like, doesn't it kind of look like a milk bath? Oh my goodness, that is just really, really beautiful. And I think I was, I think I, I replicated that floor pretty well. I think I did that, but I'm loving how this looks. Since I'm kind of dedicating this set to my daughter when she was sick, I'm thinking about adding a little teddy bear because she likes teddy bears and some of these like pearl embellishments because I feel like I've not had a chance to use these yet and I feel like they would go perfect with this set. So I'm gonna add that in here. All right, you guys. So this is what she is looking like so far. Um, So I'm noticing I feel like with the top coat, it definitely did not dry in 10 seconds. So I went in and touched it after 10 seconds. I don't know if y'all can see that here on the thumb and I smudged it. So wait a full two minutes before you do anything with the top coat. And even it still feels sticky though. That's my mistake here. Yeah, so for this nail, actually it was still kind of wet. I just realized because I didn't clear cap it with a clear dip powder, it was still wet. And so the super glue was just sitting on top of the Mylar. And so what I'm gonna do is actually just go ahead and um, encapsulate it with gel polish so that I don't have to worry about that super glue. And honestly, you guys, although I do like this color, I feel like it's kind of throwing my set off a little bit. I feel like my set would have looked better if I went in with this light blue. You see how that kind of ties everything in together? So pardon me while I go and re-dip this index finger because I really want this set to be cohesive. So this is what I did off camera. So I went ahead and top coated. I went ahead and put on a layer of base and a layer of top coat to encapsulate the Mylar and that worked out absolutely beautifully. I did go ahead and change the color of the index finger because I just feel like it fits together with the set so much better. Doesn't it though, you guys? Yeah, I think this looks really cute. And then also, I'm debating on if I wanna bling it out or not. I kinda like the simple look of this, but on my thumb, I kinda already started the bling process. So, so I wanted to dedicate a teddy bear to my daughter from when she was feeling sick. And then I've been dying to try out these little pearls. So I think, um, just to kind of tie in the thumb with the rest of the set. Um, I'm just going to add one pearl at the cuticle of the rest of the nails and just keep it nice and simple you guys because I'm liking the simple look here. Alright you guys! Ain't she cute though! Oh my god, I am absolutely loving this set. Spring is in the air you guys. Um, again, this set is dedicated to my daughter um, from when she was sick with the flu. I just wanted to 
dedicate something to her because that was a really rough time for us that was her first time being sick like that but y'all tell me what y'all think about this set i am absolutely loving it i'm glad i was able to use these little pearls i've been dying to put these things to use since i got them a while back and so yeah i just kept it nice and simple and added a little bit of pizzazz this teddy bear was for my daughter you know because she wasn't like i said she wasn't feeling too good so yeah y'all this is the set i'm just gonna go through add a little bit of cuticle oil here Yes, you guys, I'm absolutely in love with this set. Let me know what you all think about this set down in the comments. And then also, too, I do have a tutorial coming soon on this set as well. So stay tuned for this, you guys. This is the patty gel that I reviewed. Yeah, y'all, I'm loving my nails so far. I'm loving how everything is looking. I wanted to just give my overall thoughts on this gel and dip powder kit. Overall, I really liked it. I thought that it was super easy to work with. I feel like this is like a quick drying dip powder system. They say essentially to wait 10 seconds in between everything you do. I will say though, with the top coat, y'all don't wait 10 seconds, wait two minutes because if you touch it too soon, you're gonna smudge it. And I have, that happened with my thumb and my index finger. The top coat is really nice and really shiny so I really like it I would recommend this kit you all so I am going to leave the information for this kit linked down in the description box I do have a discount code with Jelen it is rose 15 um, and that will save you 15% off your order if you all decide to pick this kit up um, like I said I'm going to leave everything linked down in the description I want to send a special thank you to Jelen again for um, sending me this kit to review I had a lot of fun playing around with it y'all these colors are beautiful and they were really easy to work with um, oh and one more thing the consistency of the dip powders um, I would say that they are finely milled but they do still have like a gritty texture to it they kind of remind me of the Beatles dip powders but a little bit better but that doesn't mess with the application or the finished look at all you all can see you you don't see any greediness to this yeah I like the kit a lot and then also you guys now is the time you all have been waiting for I'm gonna be hosting my 1,000 subscriber giveaway in this video so you guys I'm super excited I just want to stop pause take a moment to say how much I genuinely and truly appreciate each and every last one of you all um, this nail journey has been nothing short of amazing I absolutely love the community that I'm building here on YouTube and on Instagram like my nail sisters y'all rock all of my other subscribers y'all rock like I just I love the community that we have here I got people here that's watching my content for my body care videos people watching my content for my nail videos and it's just been cool to see kind of people watching both you know like people are interested in the content that I'm making anytime you all comment on one of my videos anytime you all share my stuff anytime you all like my content it motivates me to keep going because I'll be honest as a content creator and I know some of my other uh, fellow youtubers can relate with this burnout is serious burnout is real but you all keep me motivated and keep me wanting to continue on with this YouTube journey because of your love and support. So from the bottom of my heart, I genuinely, sincerely appreciate each and every last one of y'all. Y'all rock. Y'all make this thing worth it for sure. So I do have my giveaway box all ready for you guys. Okay, y'all. So this here is my giveaway box that I'm going to be giving away. And yes, it is going to be inside of this beautiful packaging as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Well, the first thing I want to mention is this 28 piece um, gel polish kit. Jelen was also kind enough to sponsor this portion of my giveaway. So they actually sent me this kit or whoever wins my 1000 subscriber giveaway, they will be receiving this full kit here. And I love it because it has 28 gel polish, 25 gel polish colors. It has a base coat, top coat, and a matte top coat, y'all. So y'all have everything y'all need to get a nice gel polish set going. On the back, I just want to show you all um, again, these are the colors that's going to be included in the kit. I actually was able to pick this kit up myself and I went ahead and picked some colors that were pretty similar to the set that I did. So this is going to be spring themed. But this kit also has other colors that are like that can be used year round. So summertime, springtime, fall. I want to try and pick something where it can be used year round. So yeah, I picked this kit out for you all. Um, again, it's 25 gel colors, um, a base coat, top coat, and a matte top coat. Y'all are going to absolutely love this. So I'm super excited to give this away to one of my lucky subscribers. So now on 
on to all the other items that's going to be included those are from me personally as a sincere thank you to each and every last one of you all so these are the rest of the items that's going to be included in the giveaway obviously i'm going to package this nice and neat for you all but i just want to show you all what's going to be included so to go along with your gel polish kit, I do have a mini LED lamp. In case whoever wins doesn't have an LED lamp, you all can cure your gel polishes. So you'll get a mini LED lamp. Um, I also have here some um, crafting tape. You can use it for nail art or you can also use it for like making color blocking and things like that on your nails. Also, I have some nail art brushes so I like these I, I've used these in a few of my designs before but um, these are regular these are regular nail polishes but um, I like using these for nail art because they dry really fast and you can always just top coat it with the gel top coat um, but I made sure to include some some colors that will be commonly used when you're doing nail art so I have a black I have a white and then I have a gold for you all so you get some um, nail art liner brushes y'all know whenever I do my nails I like to add a little bit of bling so I do have some bling here for you all these are some different rhinestones these are really beautiful the shine on these are stunning so make sure y'all bling it out when y'all get this set okay and I also included some um, nail foil flakes for you all um, I have gold and silver in here I included these for you all so that if you all want to spice up your nails spice up your gel polish you know y'all can do it with this and then you all know that I also do body care on my channel so every single Saturday I talk about body care and so I wanted to include some self-care items for you all as well so in here I have a set here this is a facial scrub and it's in lavender and citrus you all know lavender is nice and relaxing help you get your self-care day started right then we have a facial mask that's in the same scent the french lavender and citrus and then we also have a french lavender and citrus body oil so yeah this is just a nice little set here to you know treat yourself also i'm going to be including some lashes in the giveaway so you know y'all can always keep it nice and glam and last but definitely not least the giveaway wouldn't be complete if i didn't include some bath and body work items and so you all i have this bath and body works aromatherapy um, hand lotion and it's in sleep and it is the island edition and so that is what this looks like um, it is in a glass bottle um, again aromatherapy we have the hibiscus and ylang ylang in there I really like this scent a lot I actually have went through one of these before and and I like it because it's really like a nice relaxing scent but it's also it has like tropical vibes to it so yeah these are all the items that's going to be included in my giveaway so yeah these are all the items that's going to be included in my giveaway um again i just want to say thank you to each and every last one of you so the rules to enter the giveaway are as follows you all must be subscribed to my channel of course you also must be following me on instagram this is not a requirement but i would love it if you all could go over to my TikTok and follow me on TikTok. Um, both my Instagram and my TikTok are the same. It's rosebeauty318. I'll leave it here on the screen. But yeah, if you all went over and follow me on TikTok, it'd be greatly appreciated. But like I said, the TikTok is not a requirement, but it would again be greatly appreciated. The last thing is you must leave a comment on this video. If you want to enter the giveaway, I also want you to do hashtag rose318. Um, I know that there's been a lot of issues with when people leave their Instagram or if they leave um, you know certain things in the comments the comments get deleted so I don't want you all to put your you know Instagram handles or anything like that I just want you to leave a hashtag saying rose 318 when I see the hashtag rose 318 I know that you're entering into the giveaway but yeah y'all so those are the rules all right you all so that's it for this video it's kind of a long one but definitely a good one I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I would love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye